Welcome back to the journey. We know what time it is. Randy Underwood once again looking to showcase his talents for everybody watching. Just want to say thank you for the support so far on this series. Drop a like if you've been enjoying and let's get right into this one. Last time out, Randy Underwood gashed the Charlotte Bobcats. And this is what he had to say after that match. We're starting to hear reports that you have recently requested a trade to another team. Any truth to those rumors? Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to slipping on a different uniform on game days. I have no reason to lie to you. Things just aren't working out for me here, man. It's nothing personal, strictly business. I'm a winner. I want to play for a winner, you know? It looks to me like you aren't the most popular guy in the locker room at this point. You need to be careful what you say about your teammates. Unless, of course, you really don't care what they think of you. It sounds fickle, I know, but you might start to notice your teammates ignoring you more often when you call for the ball. If you want to remedy that, throw out some compliments to your teammates at your next press conference. A little flattery goes a long way. After that word from his agent, Randy Underwood walking into this game with high hopes and high ambitions to prove his teammates wrong. Pass me the ball or we will lose. Early on, pulling up on the block, Shooter's touch. Eventually the shot will drop and here is another look. Not the same replay, but a different one. Four points already. And let me know what you guys think of this format. I'm thinking about bringing one game, kind of centralizing around all the, the footage that happened in that game. And last time out, we saw him with nine points against Charlotte. Not the greatest match, but here we go. A quick push at the pace. And a beautiful left-handed reverse layup. Once again, it was a block and a crazy transition play. A beautiful left-handed layup from Randy Underwood. Once again, it's game time. Has him jumping like Sky Zone. Pull up on the right fade. Money. Get your cash back. If you put your money on DeRozan, he was frozen in time. Jumping up in the air, looking sublime on defense. Back at him again. Got him jumping like a bounce house. Wet ball. On defense, JaVel McGee up to John Wall. Looking for the quick pass, and here it is. Stepping back, mid-range shot. Stepping back for the two. Bop. Making it look easy peasy. Two Gs on the head right now. Randy Underwood with the headband, pulling up like Kobe. Knockdown. A lethal shooter in a quick crossover, looking like Allen Iverson into the Kobe Bryant fade. Three seconds there, and Toronto is the worst team in the league. We're about to see it right here. One and nine to our two and six. We should be able to get a win in this match, and hopefully Randy Underwood can get a new season high. Stepping in now, looking for his move. Randy Underwood with a quick cross, and pulling up a three. Wet ball. Those type of shots you want to see drop every time. Steph Curry. And this is not deja vu. Right back at him. Knockdown jumper. Hustling and fighting to get off the block. And there it is. Now pressing in the half court set. Moving the feet, sliding left and right. Back and forth. And it's clamp time. Calderon with a quick shot. And a great rebound from Yee. Gilbert Arena showcasing why nobody wants to pass him the ball. He is the scorer, is the talisman, and a great play down low from the big man. Now looking for a shot once again, but it looks like Blatch ends up getting a shot, putting it up and getting blocked. Banks now on the fast break and a quick pass, and Randy Underwood almost got put on a poster. Isolation basketball, but he calls for the screen to the left. Fading off to the right now and maybe looking for a cut. Here it is, a quick pass and a good knockdown jumper in the mid-range. Up and down. Giving props to his teammate, looking like John Stockton in Carl Malone. And a quick drive and 33 dunking on us like Patrick Ewan. Hop, step, slam. Get back in the gym, young man. But here we go, the fourth quarter, up 10 points. 
Not a sight you see very often. And 20 points currently for Randy Underwood. His season high, his career high, and a pull-up fade looking like Tracy McGrady. Knocked down. And gives praise to the most high. Of course, all glory. Ticking down now, up 12 points. We saw Randy Underwood knock down that shot, and he's wide open. But Howard moves it late, and he has him jumping once again, and he pulls him a fade. Bucket. It's gonna be tough to stop this man. And Randy Underwood has a plan to become the greatest basketball player in the NBA. Drop a subscribe if you wanna stay informed and updated on his journey. I'm pretty sure he has some words to say in this press conference, so I'll let everybody enjoy the Jordan player of the game, as well as his interview. I'll see everybody after that. It's not really a surprise to me that other organizations see the value I can bring to their team. As for how it affects me on the court, it doesn't. Simple as that. I've seen too much to let little things like that get into my head, you know? All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure if I'm the only one that was not expecting that type of response from Randy Underwood. I mean, of course he has teams interested in him, but they don't want a cocky young player who is not humble. He talks about multiple teams want me, I want off this team, they are not gonna pass me the ball, they all garbage. That's what I'm hearing. Let me know what y'all think down below. What team should I try and get to? The Trailblazers are the first team and the Lakers are number two. Hello, hello, it's your boy Frank and I just wanna say thank you very much each and every one of you that tuned in. If you did enjoy, feel free to drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this going live each and every Friday. I know there has been some talk on this channel about FC25, and once I get my paycheck in, I will be purchasing that game and bringing the content. I do work a day job, so this is kind of like my second gig, essentially. I clock out, and I clock into this. Eventually, I want to start putting out more videos each week, but I'm just staying to one video a week until I can really get dialed in and make sure I'm focused and putting all my effort into a video. I don't want to make any empty promises because everybody out there deserves more than that if you're watching my videos and supporting me. So just want to say once again, thank you very much for supporting. Stay safe, everybody. Peace out. Take it easy. Until next week. Deuces.